Arthur Paterbiev versus uh, Dimitri Bivol. Okay, who do I think is going to win? Um, <clears throat> so obviously it's on the 12th of October, so it's coming up this Saturday. It's in Riyadh, I believe. Um, I'm not actually going to be able to watch it, which is a bit gutting because um, I'm not some big YouTuber. I don't get loads of money and uh, I'm at work, mate. So uh, I, to be fair, I probably could watch it, but... If I'm going to watch boxing, I want to get a curry, I want to do some rounds on the bag, I want to enjoy my night, I want to sit there without having to do my work. Do you know what I mean? It's not like I can just sit there and do what it is, I'm on a sleeping. You don't need to know this, but I'm on a sleeping, so I'm sleeping there. So at 10 o'clock, it is kind of like uh, my sleeping time, so I don't actually need to do any work. Um, but like I've just explained, I don't need to keep explaining it i just don't want to do it so i'll just watch the highlights i'm a bit gutted uh, i say a bit gutted uh, it's a massive understatement anyway baterbiev um <coughs> baterbiev strong you know like a warrior we all know baterbiev um he's just a he's a force to be reckoned with he's got something like 23 win it, it might i think actually off the top of my head 20 uh ko's 20 wins ko's 20 wins and 20 KOs. <clears throat> Obviously, Baterbiev is a bit of a slow starter, I think. Um, he's a bit of a slow starter, and he, he sometimes takes, I wouldn't say a lot of time to warm up. He's just not very proactive. He waits for the openings, okay? He waits for you to start making mistakes, as do a lot of boxers. But he, uh, when I watch him, he kind of reminds me of Mayweather a little bit in the, in the sense that he he's quite happy to bide his time. All right, Mayweather was no is known for that. You watch Mayweather's fights, first four rounds, generally they're given to the other guy. Um, in terms of effective aggression, not so much landing, but in terms of effective aggression, you know Mayweather's quite happy to just take sit on the fence for a few rounds, study the guy, and then he'll start exploiting you. But Terbiev's a little bit like that. Um, he'll wait for an opening and then he'll start unloading, and that's when you see the real power coming out round fours. You know what I mean? Round five, moving up. That's when you see the real, real Baterbiev, I feel. Bivol. Uh, to me, is a scientist. Um, he, he, to me, every time I watch Bivol, he absolutely blows my mind away. His pivot step, uh, he's got that European step, you know, the in, out, in, out. Shake it all about. I don't know why I've done that. You know what I mean. He's just got that in, out, in, out constantly. So draining. If you try, I mean, every now and then I give Bivol style a go. And uh, it's just so tiring. You know, believe it or not, you look at Joe Fraser and uh, or Frazier. When you uh, watch him, you believe. When you w watch him and you look at him, you think, "How the hell did he do it?" Now it is hard, but if you try boxing, I, I, I mean, I don't spar anymore, nothing like that. But on the bag, when I try the cross guard and just keep, you know, rolling, um, bobbing and weaving. Funny enough, it's actually less tiring than Bivol's. Um, style and it if you if you notice Fraser he moves his back foot first he kind of steps in not so much rhythm he steps back foot first then pushes back foot first pushes it's almost like a step 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 it just kind of this constantly well actually bending at your back um I don't know whether it's just because your butt back muscles are so uh, used to bending or whatever, but it actually doesn't take it out of you as much as you think. Okay, so try it on the bag. Just try it cross guard. Um, you know, left lot of left hooks. You're going to do a lot of left hooks in that style. Just try it, and then try another round, moving in and out, stepping, stepping. You know, the pivot. Um, I forget what they call it, European pivot or something. Uh, pendulum step, uh, pendulum step. That's it. Just try that. Tr trust you. Trust me. That will tire you out like nothing. Um, it, it, well, it does me. I, I would rather fight in Joe Fraser style for 12 rounds than that style. It's so tiring. Mentally tiring. Everything. You're coming in with your jabs and coming back out. And it's like... So anyway, who do I think's going to win? Uh, Bivol. Uh, I've got no question about it. Um, and I know people are going to say uh, it, it's a very, very uh, fair fight. Don't get me wrong. You know, they are the two best in the weight class, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, they're both extraordinarily good at what they do. 
I just think pure boxing, smart boxing, which is what Bivol is. He's a scientist in the ring. He's so clever with his movements. He's got so much going for him. His angles, his style, his, his speed, um, just accuracy. He's got, he just ticks all the boxes. If you wanted to say to someone, um, <clears throat> if you wanted to give someone an example of pure boxing, you give them Bivol. Um, you just do, in my opinion. Yeah, you give Bivol away. You say, if you want to see what boxing's about or or what you're going to learn in your first boxing lesson, the fundamentals of boxing, this is the this is the perfect example of, of perfect boxing, pure boxing, executed all the way up to the top. Um, uh, so there you go. I do think it's Bivol. I do think Bivol gets it. Um, I just... It's very hard. You know, I, I say Bivol... I can also see Baturbiev getting the knockout. That's not that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to say that Bivol's going to come in and just whitewash the guy. I just think over 12 rounds, I don't know whether it goes 12 rounds. I just think over 12 rounds, Bivol's got the edge. I think he's, I think he's, his style, his speed, everything about him. But that's not, that's not discrediting Baturbiev. Don't come in, in the comments going, you ain't got a clue, Baturbiev's this, Baturbiev's that. I know he is. Okay, let's just get that. This is a very fair fight. Both of the boxers are masterful boxers. They are great at what they masterful at what they do. I just believe Bivol has got the edge. Have a good one.